carbohydrates is the most efficient fuel for high intensity training, or again, any kind of anaerobic training. Anaerobic activity, which is what high intensity or weight training activity is, demands sugar as fuel. The worst way to get cut up is to lift weights. Because weight training does not burn fat as fuel. It's a simple medical fact. It's not even open to debate. Weight training burns sugar. And if you're not getting sugar from fruits or vegetables, cereals or grains, where's your, where's your muscle going to get sugar to continue contracting? From your own muscle. There's an amino acid contained in your muscle tissue called alanine, which will be broken down, sent to your liver, and turned into glucose. That's why carbohydrates are called protein sparing. It spares your protein from being used for energy. And you can always tell when you start using muscle for energy. Very simple. I pointed out earlier that one pound of muscle tissue contains 600 calories. One pound of fat contains how many calories? 3,500. Okay. Now if you were to start burning muscle tissue for energy, how many pounds of muscle would you have to burn to get the same energy yield from one pound of fat? almost six pounds. You, you will know when you're starting to use muscle for energy because you will start losing weight very rapidly. Very rapidly, like two, three, four, five pounds a day. Let's look at the disparity here. One pound of muscle contains 600 calories. One pound of fat contains 3,500 calories. To get the energy yield from muscle that you would from fat, you'd have to burn six pounds of muscle. So it's ridiculous to go on low carbohydrate diets. To get cut up because you will inevitably lose some muscle you have to every gram of stored sugar in a muscle contains three grams of stored water now during a period of about three days on a low carbohydrate diet as you're continuing your weight training and burning up that stored sugar for energy what happens to that sugar once it's used up for energy it leaves the muscle but once the stored sugar leaves the muscle what happens to the water that was stored with it? The water leaves also. The first couple of days on a low carb diet, you'll notice you go to the bathroom a lot. That water is not coming from fat. Fat is only 15% water. Muscle is 70% water. You're actually losing your muscle mass on a low carbohydrate diet. And I have a theory that that's the reason bodybuilders have gotten so heavily into steroids. Because of this diuretic effect of a low carbohydrate diet. If you look back about 10 years ago, the advent of the low carbohydrate diet in the bodybuilding scene, it very closely parallels the emergence of steroids on the bodybuilding scene. And I think what bodybuilders were doing unwittingly was using steroids which retain water to offset the diuretic effect of the low carbohydrate diet. The bodybuilder was doing his curls and not getting a pump because he was getting no carbohydrates. And he found out when he took two more Dianabol pills retain that much more water and you can still get a pump. It's just a theory, but it's a plausible one. So you've got to have carbohydrates to build muscle. And you've got to have carbohydrates to maintain muscle. So if you're looking to build mass, you've got to have a large amount of carbohydrates in your diet. Not, a, not an untold number. Again, 60% of your daily maintenance needed calories. And when you're trying to lose fat and maintain muscle, you need sugar in your diet. As long as you're eating a reduced calorie diet, you can eat as many carbs as you want and still get ripped. Again, theoretically, you can eat pure table sugar and be as ripped as in Muhammad Makali. No question about it. It's not even debatable. You can do it. I've done it. I've gone beyond the 60%. 60% percentile that I mentioned. Before the Olympia, I was eating almost 80 and 90% carbohydrates. <clears throat> Tom Platts, who looked unbelievable this year's Mr. Olympia. You may not have heard, but Tom Platts got third place, should have won the Mr. Olympia, was probably around 2% body fat. And the last three days before the contest, he stayed in my home in Palm Springs to get some sun. And I couldn't believe my eyeballs when I saw him. His skin was like tissue paper. And he was eating 400 grams of carbohydrates a day but he was performing a lot of aerobics, and he was getting less calories than he needed to maintain himself. It can be done.